Hello everyone, I'm showing off more Windeck OS today, and uh, for the most part it's actually just about finished. Uh, I got all the cool customization things, and I'll go more into detail of that later. Uh, the only things really missing here are things like uh, better touch responsiveness, uh, get into it, and I also need to make it so other general things are just more deck ready. Um, this is intended to be a SteamOS replacer. So using this on a um, on the on an external drive does work. I'm t using that to test it, right? But it's better if you replace it with the SSD because you won't be able to take advantage of things like sleep mode unless you do some custom configurations yourself because it'll wind up crashing the Windows to go. But uh, by default, when you boot up the device for the first time, this is what you're greeted with. It just takes a second to to load it up, and you're greeted with the deck UIs whole setup sequence the whole thing choose your time zone all that uh, I don't want to go any more than that because I don't want it to right and you're greeted with the very console like deck experience controller works and everything from here you'll get the updates you need you'll log in through Steam and once you're done logging in you're you're done and and that's all I really want to show today was that look at that isn't that cool it is cool shut up so uh, let me see if I can probably not oh I could all right, so we have here, this is the desktop. We've got enter gaming mode. That works fully functionally. Uh, if you don't want it to boot in gaming mode, all you got to do is click Windows R, which on Steam Deck can be done via the handy dandy touch menu I have down here. Windows R. And the first option should be, I didn't do it right. <laughs> God damn it. Windows and R. There we go. Uh, shell startup. There you go. And it'll take you to here, where all you have to do is delete that, and it'll just boot regular Steam without any of the the gaming mode, and you can just use it as a regular Windows PC. And you can do whatever the fuck you want with it, because that's the magic of a PC. Uh, it's got all of the best drivers already pre-installed for you. For the main part, the main thing I need to focus on is either creating like some kind of disk image file, or somehow turning it into an ISO, if that's even possible. Whatever, but for the most part, yeah, we've got the full experience uh it makes installing windows a breeze all of the annoying shit is done for you gaming mode is just like steam os everything works pretty much just like steam os so there's really no reason to switch if you're a windows type of person and that's that's kind of it oh one more thing i wanted to show kind of hard to do this with the touch screen but there's a file here windec 32 or steam deck 32 and it's containing things like the icons and the fixed dock audio, all that fun stuff. And that's in your start menu is is the fixed the dock audio. Um, I actually went through and made it so that runs as soon as you boot the system. So if you're the type of person who only uses your Steam Deck docked, on boot you have nothing to worry about. It'll automatically fix the dock audio just in the background before you can even notice. But yeah, here we go. The whole thing is is ready for you to set it up. All I gotta do now is make a tutorial, actually distribute the ISO, and make some minor tweaks here and there. With that, thanks for checking up on the progress, and I'll be back next time to probably show you a tutorial on it finished, or maybe just go through the first time setup and everything. I don't know yet, we'll see how long this takes. See you next time.